My fellow Americans, the heart of our nation is broken tonight. Americans, the bravest, most courageous among us, lay dead in the streets of Kabul today. They were spouses, parents, family members, American patriots. They had hopes and they had dreams. They were truly the best among us. But even as the world reels and even as we grieve, the United States stands strong. Our freedom remains intact. But it remains intact because there are hundreds of thousands of service members who are just as brave and just as ready to pay the ultimate price. But though we stand strong today, it is incumbent upon we the people to be vanguards of our republic and take steps to save American lives. In times of trial and hardship, when it seems our government has failed us, we turn to our leaders for answers. We demand accountability because that's innately American. Inaction and indecisiveness have defined our politics for far too long. The hallmark reaction of far too many leaders today has been to roll over and surrender. To do nothing, those days are over. This is not a time for impassioned speeches followed by no action. With that in mind, when I look to our commander in chief, I do not see someone who maliciously makes poor decisions. And yet today we witness devastating heartbreak, American carnage as a direct result of his inept and incompetent actions. Joe Biden does not simply have a pattern of poor decision making. His mental decline is on full display. Our enemies know it. Americans have witnessed it. His disastrous Afghanistan withdrawal proves even further. Our executive is in crisis. President Biden's physical inability to lead is not a political talking point. It is a demonstrable fact. Our president is not mentally fit to serve as president of these United States. I truly believe that he is unable to discharge the duties of the office he holds. That is why today, I sent letters to each member of the president's cabinet and to the vice president asking that they invoke the 25th amendment of the United States Constitution and remove Joe Biden from his office. I am also calling on Speaker of the House Nancy Pelosi to immediately call Congress back into session to construct a disability review council and assess the president's state. I cannot sit idly by and watch the nation that I love spiral into death and devastation because our leader cannot discharge his duties. When there is no time to wait, the time for action is now. I take no pleasure in sending this request. The gravity of this weighs heavily on me, but I find no other recourse. We must not allow this mentally unstable individual to direct our country for one second longer. The future of our republic must be carded. The lives of American citizens must be preserved. The time to act is now. Thank you. God bless you and may God bless these United States of America.